Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Big Create. Keep God first. Stay prayed up in this high spray love. Back one more game. More time to the sun die. UGK for life. The Lord. Man, for me it's about listening to a lot of old school music, first off. Um, a lot of times when I'm working on any new project, I try to steer away from listening to rap as far as what out right now, I'm trying to even listen to what I used to. What I did in the past, like focus on just taking myself back to that, the beginning part of my career, or when I was just a fan of music. So that comes from listening to some old school UGK outcasts, or going farther than that and listening to Biden Womack, Curtis Mayfield, Woody Hutch. Just to dive into when it was just like, man, I'm that groove, that bass, and that's, that's like when I was a, just a fan of the music instead of creating. So that's normally how it starts, man. And, then trying to come up with a topic for the project. Because for me, it's all about the whole album making sense. Not just one song, but it all makes sense, you know, in the grand scheme of things. So be it the title and then on out. The way I beat the bass, my son, my kids are okay. Look at the blanket, put it in their face. It was just a road, it was a no-go transform, I fold up, hold up, niggas hand to hate. I work with another producer. So that, that automatically just came in a time different, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's my first time really just getting in and be like, yo, you make the beat, you do whatever you want. And when I hear something I want, I'm going to jump on and just be an artist. And Knife is the kind of person that simplicity is the best form. You know, we play the record, I write the song, and we talk about one take, and we get it done. We don't do a lot of stacks. It ain't a lot going on because we want the, the song to breathe. We want you to really listen to the content. And he's the kind of producer that I looked up to. I freestyle off a lot of his old instrumentals. So for him to make a beat for me, and I'm honored. And I'm excited because I know he's going to play me a song, a sa sample I've never heard before. It's going to be something that I couldn't make for myself, and it's going to work out. So to, I, I wanted to write a song coming from the place of somebody, no matter whether you're in a big city or a small city, people out here shooting each other. And normally it's over nothing. A misunderstanding, and a little jealousy, envy, you know what I'm saying? And so I just wanted to make a song from the perspective of, you know, somebody that's caught up in just the revolving door of gun violence, or somebody that's just pushed to the limit. And then you look back and I'm like, damn, I didn't have to do that. You know, and that's sometimes people just take into consideration. If you didn't have a gun around you, how would you handle the situation? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you might rethink it. Like, you know what? It's all good. I let it rock. You know, that gun give you a different power, man. It's just that easy to take a light. So that's why I made that. You roll down the block. My blade's swing and chop. You feel the roof is not. Show your grill, ho. Show your grill, ho. Show your grill, ho. Show your grill, ho. Pick and choose what you decide to take literally. You know what I'm saying? A lot of uh, people, especially youth, take a lot of these words that rappers say literally and then go out and do something to create and, and, and put themselves in a position that they can't get themselves out of. You know, and uh, as far as me being an artist, and I know I know a lot of other artists putting themselves into why right, I'm standing up and y'all said this, but I'm, I don't want you to do that. There's different ways, and or you do a song that's on a this is a whole another spectrum. Like all right, well this is what could happen. And so I try to tell people, man, like listen to the music, enjoy the music, but do research on the people you listen to. That's why the social networks is great because people get to really see the person and the person that they're buying into instead of just buying an album. General conversation on. A lot of people walk up to me, man, and they're, they're excited, and they tell me about the songs that they've heard and, the, and the, the content and how it touched them, and that inspires me. And in turn, I let them know that that's what I do it for. I do the music for people. That's why I don't mind giving it away for free. It's no ploy. It's no promotional scheme. It's because that's all I ever wanted was people to hear my music, and that's giving me the vehicle and the opportunity to have a voice and to be able to spread love and tell people, like, yo, there's other ways in life to get money, to, to be happy. And that's what I want to do with my music. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Big Creed. Keep God first. Stay prayed up in this high spray of love. Jill last week. Jill last week. Jill last week. I had the ball on. Jill last week. I had the ball on. Jill last week. I had the ball on. See it tall on. Crawl on. Jill last week. I had the ball on. Jill last week. I had the ball on. Jill last week. I had the ball on. See it tall on. Crawl on. But today I'm out. Today I'm out.